Good morning. I appreciate the opportunity to present our 2023 budget titled Resilient Tampa. This budget reflects the many conversations we've had with City Council about your priorities and builds on our shared commitment to developing a stronger future through long-term thinking and investing. It also reflects the city's rock-solid financial footing. Thanks to the work that this city council, administration, and community have done together, Tampa is thriving. Even the formidable challenges we face, like pressing needs for more affordable housing and better transportation infrastructure, reflect Tampa's success in becoming one of America's most exciting places to live, work, and play. Let me give you a report card from the residents of Tampa. The preliminary results of our 2022 City of Tampa Community Values Survey of 1,300 city residents revealed a few important metrics. 93% of Tampa residents said they would recommend Tampa to a friend, family member, or acquaintance as a place to live. 92% would recommend Tampa as a place to work. 90% as a place to raise children. 89% recommended Tampa as a place to open a business. 91% recommended Tampa as a place to vacation. And 92% said they have trust and confidence in the city of Tampa government when it comes to handling city issues. Even after two years of COVID and an era of division in our country and state, Tampa residents are practically unanimous in appreciating the direction this community is heading. But I don't need to tell anyone here on City Council that we still have a lot of work to do. Tampa's economic expansion and rising property values are expected to generate an additional $40 million including about $8 million for you to allocate to 10 CRA districts. Inflation is driving up our costs of delivering services just as it's driving up everyone's costs. CFO Dennis Rahira will get into the nitty gritty of our budget proposal shortly. However, you'll find one of the biggest drivers in this budget to be new contracts with our three unions, as they represent two thirds of Tampa's workforce. Tampa's Consumer Price Index has spiked higher than most anywhere in the country. I felt it important to stand behind the men and women who serve our residents so well. While many people worked from home through much of the pandemic, these men and women remained on the front lines. They were out fixing broken pipes, testing our water, collecting our trash and recycling, and saving lives. To keep us resilient, we need to be able to recruit and retain the talent we have. This pay increase is not only necessary, but well-deserved. Here's our plan for fiscal year 2023 to address the sustainability, resiliency, and the health and safety of our community. A budget is the ultimate reflection of a city's values and priorities. There is no greater priority for this administration or this council than housing. That's why we committed more than $100 million to housing related services during our administration. I will aggressively promote housing in the next budget too. My goal is to create 10,000 affordable housing units by 2027. And I'm proud to say we are more than halfway there we understand when we invest in housing, we invest in people. Last year, for the first time in history, the city designated general fund money toward housing affordability and stability for our Tampa residents. We propose doing that again next year with $5.5 million in general fund money and $20 million overall for housing related services. That includes a detailed housing study we've discussed with City Council to better analyze our existing housing stock and future needs. In fact, we're adding personnel and strengthening the Development and Economic Opportunity Department, which includes housing, to better serve our residents. It will help us tackle this housing crisis quicker, more efficiently, and with added accountability. It will also help us improve our long-term planning, which is critical at a time of explosive growth. 
Healthy infrastructure is the foundation of a strong city, which is why the City of Tampa, in partnership with the Tampa City Council, launched the PIPES program. So far, the city has completed 22 PIPES programs worth more than $66 million. Currently, we have 90 PIPES projects in the works worth more than $1 billion, and 22 of those have already been closed out. Both to cut costs and to speed up construction, we want to add two construction crews to handle routine water pipeline work rather than having to rely on private contractors. For mobility, we will continue to create premium transit corridors along the major transportation spine of our city. This will connect the West Shore District to downtown and downtown to the university area. We will also keep the momentum going in modernizing the Tampa streetcar system and extension to Tampa Heights. Additionally, the city will continue to advocate for Fowler Avenue to be a gateway boulevard with dedicated transit lanes and land use framework. The city will also implement the first year of the Vision Zero Action Plan with new quick build projects. Additionally, we're constructing more than two miles of new sidewalks. Sustainability and resiliency are at the center of everything that we do. In the next year, the city will support several neighborhood level studies. This will help us prioritize issues like urban heat, coastal protection, and water security. We will also install hundreds of new solar panels and implement new energy saving programs. In fiscal year 23, we will focus on staff recruitment, ensuring there is a pipeline of diverse qualified applicants who can compete for jobs. City leaders will also make sure underrepresented businesses are afforded with opportunities to compete on government contracts. We'll do this through great programs like Bridges to Business. You'll also find beauty, equity, and inclusion brought to the forefront through the Soul Walk Heritage Tour of Tampa. In partnership with local museums and stakeholders, we will celebrate those lost areas in the fabric of Tampa's history. The City of Tampa will continue to attract new talent to our workforce. We will help connect job seekers directly with hiring managers at events like Signing Day and provide access to apprenticeship training and other career learning. Additionally, the Mayor's Workforce Council will help us identify where Tampa needs new workers the most. We'll also continue to promote online resources like Tampa Works. The City of Tampa remains a fiscally prudent government. This year, we will continue building on our great credit ratings, which help us stretch our dollars far wider than other less disciplined communities. A crucial part of that is maintaining more than 22% of our budget in reserves, a practice that we will continue in 23. This is such an exciting time for us as we transform Tampa's tomorrow. I appreciate what Tampa City Council does to serve this wonderful community. I look forward to working together to finalize this budget and to continue our momentum throughout next year. There is no limit to what we can accomplish together. Now let's bring up the money man, Dennis Rahiro.